Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these four tune shaders. One's basic, two are stylized, and one is a brick texture. So how it works is in your material tab, you have a hue, saturation, and value set up here. And you can change everything with one click, just like that, so you don't have to go back between shading in your object space. Let's get straight into it. So to get started, I'm just going to add myself a mesh with a UV sphere, and just have it positioned at the center of my scene. Shade it smooth, scale it up. And this is just the default blender scene with the camera, the light, and everything. So then head over to your shading workspace. I have mine set up like this. I'm just gonna close out those tabs. And then for the lighting, I'm just going to lower the world opacity, check scene lights, go to my preview. And I'm also going to check scene world so that we don't see the background HDRI. So to get started, we're gonna make the basic one first. So just add a material, we'll call this a basic tune. And I'm going to delete the principal BSDF with X. And then if you don't have the Node Wrangler add-on, go ahead into your Edit Preferences and search for add-ons and type in Node Wrangler and then just hit the checkbox and you're good. So now I'm going to hit Shift-A, search for a diffuse, the SDF like this. And I'm actually going to check the random preview, I forgot to do that, and it's going to be our same settings. So take our diffuse and plug it into the surface. And the next step will be to Shift-A and we're going to search for a fader to RGB. What this does is it'll take the shader and plug it to red and green blue. It's not going to change anything yet because we need to add a color ramp. So we'll press shift A, search for our ramp, just like this. And now that we have this, I'll change it to constant. And what we can do here is drag the white in and we have the base of our tune shader. So what I generally like to do for this is I like to have three levels of color. And so I'll have a white. I'll have a almost pure black, which I'm going to change to a 0.01. And then I'll have a gray, which will be a 0.15 or a 0.2. I'm gonna do, I'll just do 0.175 and go in between for this. Sometimes you wanna switch it depending on what kind of object you're making. So, but yeah, this is good for general practice. And then something else that you wanna do is if you're gonna add color to this, which you probably will want to, I like to switch all of these to be fully saturated all the way up to a one. And the reason I do this is because we're going to add another node afterwards called the hue saturation value node, shift a hue saturation and value. And now we can change the hue with one node and we can change the saturation values as well. If you hold shift, it goes slower and then change the value as well, just like that. And you can also change it from your material tab over here on one node because it's the output and that's what's going to show. Everything can be changed in one place. The default values are 0.5, 1, and 1 for the hue saturation value. So that is how you can make a basic tune shader. You can change the hue and everything. You can duplicate it if you want to have multiple in the same scene with this button right here. You can hit new material and that will create a duplicate. In this case, I'm going to use the duplicate to modify the coordinates of our color so that we can get some stylized tune shaders. So to do that, we'll call this stylized tune. And all we have to do for that is add ourselves a, another node that's going to go into the color of the diffuse. And if you're wondering why we use the diffuse instead of the principled shader, it's because if we use the principled, it will sort of glitch out the lighting around it as we rotate around here. And we, 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 as we move the light, the glare and the white spots that you're seeing wouldn't be working properly. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to move the light back and we will get into the stylized shift A and search for a Voronoi texture is what I'll be using. And then if what happens if we plug in the distance to the color, it'll give us this effect. And this is kind of okay. It's not exactly what we want because it's a little bit, it's not exactly playing to the rules and that might work really well for some abstract stuff if you're trying to do some sort of weird abstract loop. That could work really well for that. But anyways, I like to switch this to uh, from F1 to distance to edge. And that's gonna give us this weird stuff. I'm gonna up the scale to close something close to a 10. Doesn't have the perfect, 9.9 is good. At this point, what we wanna do is we wanna mix it so that not everything is being affected by the Voronoi. So we'll hit Shift A and search for a mix node and we'll switch this to mix color. We'll switch the bottom value, B, to a fully white, no saturation, no hue. We'll take the distance from this guy into A and the result into the color of the diffuse. What this is going to do is if we set it to zero, it'll be fully on distance to edge and one will be fully not. So we can adjust this value and move it down a little bit. 
and we can get this sort of cool effect where we have this sort of uh, noise or the Voronoi pattern outside and surrounding the lighting. And obviously this will work if we move around the light. Oops, I hit it. It will work if we move around the light, however close we go. If we have multiple lights, let's move one over here and let's grab it and move it down. Let's lower the strength on this maybe to like a 50. And as we can see, it works here too. And if we go closer, it'll get the hot spots right and everything. Yeah, so that's how you can do that. I think this one's kind of cool. You can also do it with different textures and you can change this as well. Like if you go further in, it's gonna look way more stylized. So let's go ahead and do, well actually we can keep this one. I'm gonna duplicate it and we'll call this Stylized Tune 2. And we're gonna do this with the noise texture. I guess we'll make an extra one. We'll just delete the Voronoi and Shift A and search for a noise. Take the factor into our color A. And that's gonna give us this. This is what the noise looks like fully on its own. We can actually up the scale on this so it's a little more painterly. And then we will go a little bit back and we get this cool effect. And it's sort of like it, the light is painted on there and it gives a really nice effect. I really quite like this and it works pretty well. Now, if you're wondering why it's so dark all on this one side, the reason is because we only have these two lights in the scene. And in a normal scene, you'll want your scene lighted more of 3D. For instance, if we uncheck scene world, it'll enable the HDRI and it'll be more of a 360 lighting. So that looks a little bit better. And obviously, tune shaders aren't supposed to have too many levels of lighting to it, so it's pretty, it's pretty okay. But if you always want to add more, you can always go back to your color ramp over here and add yourself in a couple in between, or even slide this further away and add a couple between that. But I like to keep it where it is. So for the final one, I'm going to show you how to make a brick tune texture because some people might have some trouble figuring out how to do this. And to do that, it's really simple. I'm just going to duplicate this and type in brick tune shader. Just like that. Change out the noise texture for a brick. Shift A, search for a brick texture. Plug the color into color A. And look at that. We got brick. So currently it's looking a little bit weird. And if we bring the light in too close, it's going to wash out the brick entirely, which isn't what we want. So we want to go more towards the brick on this. And that's and it will still play into our lighting just like this. But we will always have the lines no matter what, no matter where the lights go or how close they get. We will always have those black lines because we went fully towards the brick. So a quick recap. Remember, shaded RGB, into color ramp, into huge saturation value, you're set. If you want to manipulate the coordinates, get some stylization, add yourself a mix node right before your diffuse with a factor that will control the texture amount, and then select your texture, and you're good. If you want it to have fully textured black lines, then make sure you have it factor set to zero, otherwise it will wash out at some point. Yeah, thanks for watching, and have fun making some tune shaders. See you in the next one.